welcome all of you to this video. Today in this video, we will learn about the concept of circumference of the circle and area of the circle. As you all know that, the group of all the points on a plane which are at a constant distance from a fixed point on the plane is called a circle whose area is pi r raised to the power 2. Have you ever wondered how this formula for area would have been derived? Come, let's try to understand it. It is a circle with radius r. If the circle with radius r is filled with the inner circles of radius r1, r2, r3, etc., then we see something like this. Come, let's consider one more circle. If we now cut the circle from one of the parts and then straighten it, what we get is a straight line, which is the circumference of circle that is its perimeter. So if we cut this group of circles from here, and straighten it. What we see is something like this. Here, you can see that the outer circle is the base of this shape and other inner circles are also located here respectively. Can you tell what will be the length of the base of this shape? Absolutely correct! Its length will be 2 pi r because it is a line made of the outer circle, which is what we call as the perimeter of the circle. But can you tell the value of circumference of a circle how 2 pi r is determined? Absolutely correct. Since we know that the circumference of a circle and its diameter has a constant ratio, which is represented by pi and by solving it, we get the circumference of the circle. And the height of this shape is nothing else but the radius of the outer circle, which we present using r. Observing this shape carefully, we can say that this shape is a triangular one. So, can you tell how we can find the area of this triangular shape? Well done! Since we know that the area of a triangle is 1 upon 2 multiplied by the base multiplied by the height, therefore, in the area formula, on putting the value of base and height of this triangle and solving, We have the area of the triangle, pi r raised to the power 2, which will be equal to the area of the circle. So, you must have understood that how the area of the circle as pi r to the power 2 is determined. Can you draw these circular objects around you and find their area? If we trace these objects on a paper, we can easily find their areas. In this video, we studied about the circumference and area of the circle. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this.